Welcome fellow F-Stop Army subscribers. Today we're going to be talking about flash power. Have you ever looked on the back of your flash and wondered what the hell are these fraction digits? That is actually your flash power and what it's set to. Next up, I'm going to show you some images taken at each different power setting. Alrighty, so here we have a baseline image. No flash, f3.5, ISO 100, shutter speed 1 1 25th of a second, and it's pretty dark, can't really see nothing much. So now what the next bunch of images are going to be, is going to be from the flash power, from the lowest setting to the highest setting. So going all the way from 1 28th up to full power, so you can actually see what one stop of light increment does to an image. And as you can see, full power is just a little bit overexposed for my liking. Here we have the comparison side by side, so you can actually take a proper look at what one stop of light does either way. And I'm kind of liking the eighth and quarter power, but the half and the full, yeah, it's just way overexposed. So now you're probably thinking to yourself, well, how do I control the flash power? While the fundamentals are the same for each flash unit, you will have to refer to the flash user manual. First off, you want to make sure that your flash unit is set to manual mode. Now, it doesn't matter whether it's a Canon, Nikon, third-party flash, Yongnuo. Each of these flashes can go into full manual mode. Now, you have to refer to the user manual on how to get it into manual mode. Now, once the flash is in manual mode, you'll see a little M on the back of the display screen. Currently, my power is set one-to-one, -one, which is full power. Now, I'm using a Canon 580EX2. Now, as I turn the dial anti-clockwise, I'm stepping down one stop of light each time I go down a fraction. So now I'm sitting at 132 power, stepping down one stop to 164, down to 128. What does that mean? Let's take a look at the graph and I'll show you. Okay, as you can see here, I have all the power settings from the back of the flash, going from full power all the way down to 128 power. Each one of these stops are exactly that, one stop of light. So as you're dropping down one stop of light, Basically what you're doing is you are halving your power. So as you start at a quarter power, you stop down one stop to an eighth, you are halving the power output from the flash. Now the same can be said when you're going in the other direction. If you are starting at a 32 power and you're going up one stop in light to a 16, you are doubling the power. If you're starting at an eighth power and you're going up one stop of light to a quarter, you are also doubling your power. Now, if you start at an eighth power and you want to go to full power, you need to go one, two, three stops of light to get to full power. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, that's great, but where do I start? That's easy. Start at one eighth power. Why? Because it's halfway up and down the power scale. So what you do is take an image at an eighth power. Take a look at your image. If it's overexposed, drop it down to a sixteenth. Take another shot. If it's still overexposed, drop it down to a 32 power. Same can be said going the other way. Start at an eighth. If it's underexposed, go up one stop of light to a quarter power. Take another shot. If it's still underexposed, take another shot at half power. And then if it's still underexposed, you can go all the way to full power. Hope you enjoyed today's episode on flash power. Make sure you come back again for the next episode, which will be flash zoom. Peace.